Good morning, YouTube family. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today, I am going to make a pot of creamy potato shrimp chowder, and I am going to add corn. So here are the ingredients that you're going to need. A half a stick of butter. One small onion diced. Two carrots. One tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Four medium potatoes peeled and cubed. Five to six cups of low-fat milk. Two chicken bouillon cubes. One cup of half and half. Salt and pepper. One pound of shrimp. A tablespoon of minced garlic. And bacon pieces for garnish. And I wanted to show y'all these oatmeal cookies that I made yesterday. I made some with chocolate chips in it and some without. And they were totally delicious and <laughs> very chewy. Let me pull one open for you. Very chewy. Uh, so I made a large quantity, so I might have to freeze some. I'm not quite sure. In a pot, you are going to melt half of the butter and saute the onions and the carrots. And you're going to do this till they're slightly tender, which is going to be about five minutes. And I didn't have any whole carrots, so I just used some baby carrots, which equaled out to two large carrots. So Leon came in to help me, and he's peeling the shrimp while I saute the uh, carrots and the onions. So after they become tender, you're going to add your flour, and you're going to stir that in, and you're going to cook that for about a minute. When those become quite tender, you're going to add your potatoes. You're going to add your milk, and you're going to pour the milk just till it covers the potatoes. You're going to cook the potatoes until they become tender, and you have to stir them about every five minutes so the milk doesn't stick to the bottom of your pot. You just set aside the rest of the milk just in case you need it. You're then going to take your two cups of milk, and you're going to open up your chicken bouillon cubes, put them inside of the milk, and then you're going to place it in the microwave. It's going to take one to two minutes, but you want your cubes to dissolve. And you can stir after a minute, and then if you need to go another minute, you just want to make sure that your um, cubes dissolve. And so here, I think mine are finished. I've stirred them one time. This is the second time I'm stirring them. Actually, I picked it up with a spoon and kind of smushed it with my finger. Then you add it to your pot. You stir that around and let it come to a ball. And this is going to take about 15 minutes for your uh, potatoes to uh, get tender. So I'm going to put the lid on it and stir it every 5 minutes for 15 minutes. So the recipe doesn't call for corn, but I like corn in my shrimp chowder. And so I added a cup of corn. I wanted to show you guys the spoon rest. It says, I will give you rest, Matthew 11:28. I picked this up at the tractor supply when we went that time, and I thought it would be cute and very useful in the kitchen. So the recipe says you can take some potatoes out and smush them up with your uh, potato smasher. Uh, it kind of makes your, your uh, soup a little thicker. But what I'm gonna do is just put some of the vegetables, the potatoes, in my Kitchen Aid grinder and just kind of grind them up. So that worked well for me, and I just scoop it all in there. And then once you get it scooped in there, you just stir it up. Sorry if you hear Maya hollering in the background. She hears me talking in the camera, so she uh, thinks I'm talking to someone actually, and I am. I'm talking to you guys. So after that, you're going to stick the other half of butter in. Um, your skillet because we are going to fry up the shrimp a little bit you're going to add your garlic and you're also going to add your salt and your pepper and this is the same skillet that i fried the bacon in i poured the grease out just left a little bit of the grease so i'm just going to stir this up here i'm adding the pepper and we like a lot of pepper and i'm also adding the salt and leon came to help me he's so sweet So Leon is about to add the shrimp 
and you just stir it around there and you cook it for two to three minutes. You don't want to cook it all the way through. At this point, you're going to add your one cup of half and half and you're going to stir that around. So after your shrimp cooks for two to three minutes, you just kind of watch it, let it be um, cooked to its pink, and then you're going to add it to your soup. And so Leon is adding it to the soup, just a little at a time, he's going to stir it around. It looks so yummy. So you're going to stir it around and then you're going to put the lid on it and you're going to cook it for five to ten minutes and I just kind of constantly stirred it and then after that it's done. So I'm about to plate the soup up. It, it smells so delicious you guys and so I'm just going to um, fix Leon and I some. It's uh, almost 12 o'clock so we are kind of hungry. So you just take your bacon and you just kind of garnish the top of your soup with it. And that's what I'm doing right here for Leon. Is it good, love? Mm -hmm. mm. We've made this before and it is delicious, you guys. It is worth all the time to make it. We hope you try this recipe and we love you guys and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. God bless.